It's the view from a window, actually the PVC double glazed variety in a top floor flat in St Leonard's. Virtually, from the very first day, um, I started taking pictures of the, of the light and the sea, basically, um, out from this, from this window. Captured through the eye of an experienced photographer, it's a landscape ever-changing and of stunning beauty. It kind of snowballed because um, when it first started, there was, um, there was a couple of moments in the day that, uh, that were quite interesting. So I'd, um, I'd, take a, I'd take a photograph. And then this, there was a period of weather um, where there became more and more pictures being taken every day. And before I knew it, I thought, I thought this could be actually quite an interesting project. He's dropped out, tired of an award-winning career in commercial photography in favour of these landscapes. A link maybe to one of his more eerie commissions, to picture J.M.W. Turner's death mask. When you see them pulling it out of the box, to, you know, and you think about what, what this really is, what it actually is, it's Turner's death mask. It's, it is a bit, yeah, it's a bit spooky, yeah. Seeing the light and the landscape that he saw when he was here has, um, has certainly made me appreciate him a lot more, actually, yeah. There may be a bit of Turner in the air around here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stuart's got a story to tell. I think he's an interesting guy when you talk to him. And I think these talk um, more about him as an individual. There's a certain amount of solitude and there's a quietness about them. And that's what I read from them. To take pictures like these, whatever sort of equipment would you need? Well, this is it. Turner would have been impressed, I think. Robin Gibson, BBC South East Today, Robertsbridge.